What's going on guys? It is Sir Bumbles and you guys are watching a little bit of Battlefield 4 footage, Conquest on Rogue Transmission on the Xbox 360. Round turned out to be lost. My team stopped trying halfway through. I didn't quit out because I was doing so damn good. Let's get into the video though. As the title says, this is my hands-on impressions of the Xbox One. I went to the mall yesterday, which was Saturday, and they have a Microsoft store in the food court of the mall, and they have Xbox One playable. And I got to play Dead Rising, Forza, Killer Instinct, Loco Cycle, and Rise. Now, I'm going to start off with the controller. The controller is an extreme improvement over the Xbox 360 controller, and I didn't think that was possible. The analog sticks, they are so much more responsive. They are more fluid than the 360 controller. The bumpers are now integrated as part of the controller, as the top portion is a different material than the uh, main body of the controller, which is also a different material from the Xbox 360 controller, and it's just a more comfortable feel in your grip. The triggers as well are just so much more responsive and the little vibrations that you get uh, in certain games with them is a little cool factor, um, especially when you're playing Forza and you're driving McLaren and you're accelerating hard and you just feel the impulse in the trigger. It's awesome. Uh, the Xbox Guide button is no longer the Xbox Guide button. I would just call it the uh, Xbox Home button or the Home button. It, when you press it in, it just brings you to the dashboard. Um, switching from one demo to another was extremely quick. Uh, you would just hit the guide button or the home button and then you would go to the pins on the left side, choose which game you want to play, and then hit A and it would pop up in the main area of the dashboard and by the time you select it hit A, it's already loading up. Extremely fast, just like those uh, advertisements that they've been running and it's extremely cool to know that it's n it's oh wow <laughs> I lost my words so the games are gorgeous uh, sure yeah Dead Rising runs at 720p and uh, rises at 900p but they are just so gorgeous and just so f smooth in animations and you know it's that whole thing where 1080p only matters when you are sitting a certain distance away from a TV set that is, I believe it's 50 inches or more. It, I had to look it up. You have to look it up. I don't know. But 1080p only matters at a certain point, so I'm not really upset about the resolution. Hell, as long as the games are, are, are fun, be da resolution be damned, give me my 720p. And, uh, I, I know none of this is really groundbreaking or, you know, brand spanking new news, but I think it's a good idea to hear it from somebody who is not working for Xbox, who is not a video game journalist at like IGN or Machinima, and who's actually just an average guy who happened to go to the mall and got to play some Xbox One. I mean, hell, if the malls were open here on Sundays, I'd be there right now playing a hell of a lot more to get some more information and stuff to report back to you guys. I'm definitely going to be there tomorrow on my lunch break. <laughs> there's, there's no doubt about that. And playing has just really got me even more excited for November 22nd. And I know you guys who are getting a PlayStation 4 as well are, are no doubt excited that on the 15th, which is right around the corner, your PlayStation 4 comes out. So that's all I got for you guys today. Just a short video again, just to give my quick impressions. Uh, if you liked the video, guys, hit the thumbs up. If you did not like the video, hit the thumbs down. Hopefully I'll have another video out uh, by the end of the week about Battlefield 4 and the changes that need to be made because there do need to be quite a few. And anyway, that's all I got for you guys. The round's coming to an end. It just ended, actually. <laughs> Thanks for checking it out. I will catch you guys later.